So once you have your masa here ready, so what I did is I took the corn flour, I mixed it with some sea salt and some warm water, and you're going to keep mixing it, and you want to add in about tablespoon increments, and when you're done, you want to have like a Play-Doh-like consistency, like a Play-Doh or a dough, you want to make sure it looks like this, and this is going to be the squeeze test, and you want to make sure it sticks together. To wet, you can add a little bit more corn flour. If it's too dry and it's not bundling up like this here, then you want to add some more water. And then we're going to cover it up with a towel. If you don't have a towel, you can use cellophane, but I'm trying to reserve my um, plastic wrap. Excuse me, not cellophane, plastic wrap. And we're going to just let it absorb here for about half an hour. So I'm demonstrating here how to make the dough balls so they have all the ingredients mixed. And I have here some water and as you see I'm dipping my hands with a little bit of water because you want to make sure the um, they form into a ball. And you want to make sure you have like an even amount and I have kale. Basically what I want to do is I kind of want to even portion it out. You don't have to do this but it makes sure and consistency with your tortilla. So this is about 4 grams. So you're going to take a sandwich bag and you're going to cut the sides or you can also use plastic wrap. You're going to put your dough ball on top of the plastic and then you're going to use your tortilla press and press it down firmly. And then you're going to see the magic happen. And then you're going to uh, lift the handle and then voila, you have yourself a tortilla. Here's my high five method. You are going to pull the plastic away from the dough and you're going to put your high five on top of the tortilla. You're going to flip it, peel the plastic off slowly, and woohoo, you got yourself a tortilla. Alright guys, so to make tortillas, you're going to need a comal or a cast iron skillet. If you do not have a cast iron skillet, you can use a nonstick pan. Um, you can also use a nonstick stove. All three will work nicely. So I've been preheating the comal about medium high temperature um so it's going to take a while now i have an old school coil electric stove um these are not the best <laughs> i do um miss gas but it's okay so whatever method of kitchen gear that you have i'm sure everything will work just peachy so make sure you have your kumal preheating medium high temp okay so you're going to put your tortilla on the hot comal or griddle. You're going to leave it on there for two minutes per side. So once the two minutes are up, flip it for another two minutes. Have a timer that comes in handy. You want to make sure it's nice and even and well cooked. So I have here a tortilla container. It keeps the tortillas warm and voila!